The baby is our protagonist. He's the monster of the show, but he's a baby. And the audience will spend some time thinking, oh, it's such a cute little baby. And then we'll spend some time thinking, oh my God, that's a terrifying monster dressed up as a baby. <laughs> The baby is obviously one character in the show, but it takes about 30 people to make the baby. Casting babies is really hard, because as a parent, when do you decide, oh, yeah, I think I'm going to get my baby into acting? Also, the themes of our show. And for some people, they didn't want to go there. <laughs> We were looking for twins. We got very, very lucky. Albie and Arthur were wonderful. For us, what was super important as well is that they looked quite different from Michelle. This isn't my baby. But really, when you're casting babies, you're casting parents. Their parents were really open to the process. We're just excited to sort of be a part of it, learn. I'm Izzy. <laughs> And um, this is Albie. Yeah, my name's Ash, and this is Arthur. They played the baby. In the baby. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of just chance, wasn't it, that um, yeah. they got found on Instagram. And they loved the boys and wanted to meet the boys. <laughs> We had such great luck with Izzy and Ash. They really became their own department heads and department. We had them in almost every day, I think probably 70, 80%. Of the scenes had a baby in. Every scene with a baby in is, becomes high stakes because you only have a finite number of minutes a day you can film with them. We discussed at length what age the baby should be. We knew it needed to be under a year. We needed a baby that is not crawling and walking around in order to actually be able to film. But also, we wanted that age where it's most vulnerable still. We had the two hero babies, which were twins, and then we had another set of standing babies that were also twins. On set, on any given day, there was maybe five or six babies. The most surreal moments on the show, of, the, of which there were loads, I was walking towards set and we had all those gazebras set up. I walked past one that just had seven babies, all sort of various sizes and ages, crawling around in the same iconic hero baby grow. And I just thought, what are we doing? <laughs> Most of it is the boys, yeah, it aren't is. they? There's some difficult yeah. scenes that there were some stand-ins and also the, the fake baby that was made. We knew very early on that having babies in the cast meant, in our story, situations that are either unreal or unsafe. <laughs> Use visual effects to heighten and tell the story without relying entirely upon them, a seamless replacement of a face or a body or a performance, with the end result being a regular sort of shot. But there's a whole wealth of these sort of micro movements in and around the eye and in and around the mouth when you smile, that's quite imperceptible. And so it's a little bit less flashy than our blood and our demon babies and our falling off babies. <laughs> Lots of elements that we were considering in terms of our methodology. Will the baby age over the course of our five months of filming? Do we need to de-age the baby? What happens when they grow hairs? But the show is so rooted in reality. None of the baby shots could look like a digi baby unless that was the intention. We met the babies at a 3D scanning facility in London and we took photogrammetry scans of each of the babies. I used that data to 3D model the babies that we would then produce practically. For the production of the baby, we made three in the end. We made two full-size ones and the little seated one. But at one point, we just had like a sea of heads, lots of different heads and hands of the different expressions for the different babies. It was quite terrifying. Working with those jelly babies was harder than working with actual real babies. These are the creepiest things you have ever seen in your life. I hope that no one gets that when they're watching it because they look so lifelike. Obviously, they're not real babies, so you can put them on the floor or... And they, they're weighted, so they move like real babies. But, yeah, people would always come in really freaked out if there was, like, a jelly baby on the floor or something. Just be like, Aah! Yeah, so it's definitely a lot of laughter on set with the jelly babies. Working with babies, I think you should take seriously because the babies don't know you're acting. On this show, there was a lot of scenes where I had to be quite annoyed with them. And so the only way to create some balance with that was to be really sweet and nice when we weren't doing scenes like that. It was fun, but also, like, I think if I don't sing another nursery rhyme for as long as I live, I will be fine. In my head.